Confession of Former Satanic Agent of Darkness by Pastor Jonas Series 2 This testimony is the second part in a series of 13 volumes, 13. To fully benefit from it, you need to Read the 12 other parts, in numerical order. I was a representative of the devil. The representatives are proxies of Lucifer. They are the ones who take the instructions directly from Lucifer. Among these representatives of Lucifer, there are also false servants of God. They hide under her sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall recognize them only by their actions. May they Holy Spirit help us discover all those agents of Satan disguised as servants of God. I am the only one to be held responsible for everything I am saying. List of Series in Numerical Order Confession of Series 1 Confession of Series 2 Confession of Series 3 Confession of Series 4 Confession of Series 5 Confession of Series 6 Confession of Series 7 Confession of Series 8 Confession of Series 9 Confession of Series 10 Confession of Series 11 Confession of Series 12 Confession of Series 13 Confession of Former Satanic Agent of Darkness by Pastor Jonas, Series 2 I am not afraid because I know that the testimony that I give, I am not giving it for my glory, I am giving it for the glory of the one who delivered me and that person is Jesus. He himself will protect me. My Bible tells me, if God be for me, who can be against me? They shall fight against me, but they shall never prevail against me, for the Lord shall always be with me to deliver me. Amen. Being a servant of Satan, I even worked in churches. The church represents the visible part of the army of Jesus Christ, so we had to do everything within our power to render the church harmless. Satan gave us assignments in the church. Also read, The Satanic War Strategies and Trap Against Christian. The first assignment was to make Christians ignorant of the Word of God. Lucifer had told us, when once Christians are ignorant of the Word, their faith will be weak. The Bible tells us in Romans 10:17. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. Lucifer had told us, if children of God abide in the word, they will easily avoid my traps. Standing by the word of God. If you do not abide in the word of God, it will be difficult for you to avoid the traps of Lucifer, so they Bible tells us in Psalm 119,105 the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And the second commandment of Lucifer says, to do not allow Christians to read the Bible, but let them read newspapers, novels, as well as religious books. There are people who don't have a Bible, but when you visit their home you find loads of books. Awake, watch tower. Do you know where these books come from? If you have books such as watch tower, Awake of Jehovah Witness, bring them to the church so that we pray for you and burn them. It is satanic. This sect of Jehovah Witness is not a church of Jesus Christ. The first sign to recognize a church of Satan is this, any church that denies the divinity of Jesus is from Satan. Even the devil himself knows that Jesus is God. Whether the Jehovah Witnesses like it or not, Jesus is God and will remain God. Amen. The second assignment is to create dullness during offerings and tithes. This is also related to the third and fourth commandments of Satan. The third commandment of Lucifer says, 3. Tell Christians that God, their Father, doesn't need tithes and offerings, but that it is their pastors who steal from them. The fourth commandment, 4. Keep Christians in poverty by telling them not to give tithes and offerings. So even the devil knows the secret of blessing. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 3,9-10 Honor the Lord. With your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops, then your barns will be filled to overflowing. The third assignment is to block the projects of the church by infiltrating witches among the leaders. 
Be very careful when choosing leaders, it has to be done according to the will of God. The fourth assignment was to disorientate praise and worship and direct them towards Lucifer. To succeed in doing that we easily manipulated people who play keyboard and instruments, and choristers. There are people who sing, but who don't have any life of prayer, it is very dangerous. There are people who sing to be admired, and who don't have any life of sanctification. Fake chorister and ministers in the church. I'll tell you how we proceeded in churches. The devil is able to exploit any opportunity that arises to do evil. Listen to me carefully, you will understand that it is really necessary and even essential that our God strike all our enemies with blindness when they come to attack us, so that they are unable to see us, to see our homes, our projects, our children, and all that belongs to us. As I evolved with Indian magic, one day, my master, who was a native of Kisangani, and I, had to make a trip to Kalemi to meet a siren who is at the bottom of the Lake Tanganyika. This siren is called Marie Rose Rimea. She is the goddess of the rivers and seas. But before that, my master invited me somewhere, and at 8 p.m. he gave me a package and told me. Tonight at 11.30 p.m., you will go to the cemetery, you will do a ceremony and during the ceremony, a creature will appear. No matter its nature, you will have to be calm. You don't have the right to flee. If you flee, you will either die or go insane. I came home and at 11 p.m. I went to the cemetery of Sapins. At this point Pastor Jonas describes the contents of the package he received from his master. They package contained among other things two white candles and a red candle. He placed them in such a way that the three candles formed an equilateral triangle. He continues, that is a triangle whose three sides are equal. It represents the diabolic Hindu trinity. And in the same package, there was a small bell like the one that the acolytes use in the Catholic Church. During the transubstantiation, it is the moment they turn bread into the body of Christ and wine into the blood of Christ. This small bell that the acolytes use when they are on their knees, is satanic. They use it to open the door to demons. There is a white stone which is at the right side of the sacristy, it is through that way. That demons enter the Catholic Church during the Mass. Catholic Church is fake and not for Christ. Catholicism is not a religion of Jesus. It's just Satanism hiding behind a Christian facade I was initiated by a Spanish priest. So when I arranged all these things, I uttered incantations, and after the three candles were lit automatically, and I started to utter incantations, while following the instructions that my master gave me. After the incantations, I took my small bell and rang three times. But to my great surprise, nothing happened. So I told myself that I had made a mistake while I was reciting the incantations. You know. With the devil when you utter incantations, if you make any spelling error, for example instead of E, you put A the whole incantation is automatically cancelled. But this is not the same with God. With God, when you pray, even if you mispronounce a word, God answers. For our God knows our intentions. And while I was doing that, I resumed the incantations, and this time, I repeated them correctly and at the end, I took the bell, and I rang. When I rang, there was a violent wind that began to blow in the cemetery, it was like a hurricane. And it was already past midnight, and I was alone in the cemetery, I was still too young, I was still in the Secondary school at the time. Here Pastor Jonas described what had happened at the cemetery. It is after all this ceremony that he saw a man appear before him. He continues, a man appeared before me. He wore a black toga, but his feet did not touch the ground. It was a white, he presented himself under the name of Hindu Sankara. He gave me a small chain of 108 balls called Mangal Sutra. It corresponds to the rosary in India, in Hinduism, the rosary among Catholics. 
and tasbih among Muslims, all this is satanic. And after that he told me not to forget my first sacrifice. And he disappeared. Catholic Rosary The next morning I went to see my master, I explained to him all that occurred to me at night, and he shook my hand and said, Truly you are a brave man. He told me again, at the end one told you not to forget your first sacrifice. Know that the sacrifice they are talking about is that this night, at midnight, sharp, you will eat a cock, but an uncooked cock. You will not buy it at a market, but you will buy it in a family. And that was what I did, I crisscrossed the neighborhood, but I did not find anything, around 3 p.m. I was almost discouraged, it was in Kolomani. So, I was passing by, and I saw two boys who left their house with cocks and were going to the market. Seed Sowing and Donations For financial sponsorship, seed sowing and donations in order to keep the online ministry daily. Updates, alive and spiritually active click here. When I saw them, I stopped them and went with them in the house. I asked for the price of the cock. They gave it to me, and I paid without arguing. As I was still there, I used a trick to let a feather fall down. By uttering incantations inwardly, and I left. Brief description of what he did when he arrived in his room. He ate the cock and did everything. According to the instructions of his master. He continues, and at 9 a.m., I went to see my master. When I arrived at his place, I told him what I had. Done, and he said, indeed you're a brave boy. But I will ask you to do something, now go back there. And check the results where you bought the cock. And I went there. As soon as I arrived at the entrance of the avenue, I saw a crowd from afar, and then I asked someone who was passing by, why is there a crowd here? He told me that someone died there. And I went there like anyone who is going to a house of mourning. While I was there, the parents of the victim moaned and said, the child was not even sick, but at 11.30 p.m., he had a high fever that lasted only a short period of time, after 30 minutes, that is, at midnight. Sharp, the child died. At 11.30 p.m. I cut the head of the cock, the child catches a fever and at midnight. Sharp, I eat the cock, the child dies. I would also like to mention a point of confusion that I had had. As I was still a Satanist, I was going out with a girl who was a member of a prayer group. It was the ministry Bethel. She invited me one day in her prayer group. As we arrived there, we entered the house, and she introduced me to the leaders as her fiancé. They greeted me with joy, gave me a place, and then there were also others who arrived and the prayer started. I was also there, pretending to pray, because I did not know how to pray, I didn't know where to start. All I knew was invoking demons. I was there with the children of God. You should know one thing, of all those who come to church, not everyone comes to seek Jesus. There are some who come just to harm others. I was there pretending to pray and when the prayer was over. I took the sister and I drove her home. Two weeks later, she came at my place crying. She came. Knocked at the door, I opened and she entered. I greeted her, and she did not answer, but all she did was cry. Then I looked at her, and at the end, she started talking to me. Sobbing, she said, why did you never tell me about your state? I said, my state? Which state? She told me, your spiritual state I said, my spiritual state? I am a Catholic Christian and if you want to know more, I'm also a scout there. She told me, no, this is not your true state. My true state? Who am I according to you? She said, you're a great Satanist. I said, who told you that? Also read, Marriage Proposal and Counseling for Single Sister. She replied, 
the leaders of our prayer group were in prayer when I gave them the request for my marriage, as I had already introduced you to them as my fiancé. While they were praying, they received a revelation from God. And God confirmed that you are a great Satanist. I said, me, a Satanist. Look at it. Me, if you see something that has to do with Satanism, tell me. Then I stood in front of her and said, Look at me, do you see anything that has to do with Satan? And she said no. Beloved, Satanism is not written all over the face. It is spiritual and it is only through revelation that we can uncover it. The Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked, no one can know it. There is only God who tries the hearts and the reins, he alone knows the true spiritual state of a person. So I told her, do not worry, those people who told you that, are just jealous, they are trying to prevent you from getting married, they are spirits that seek to block you in celibacy. They said that to you so that you do not marry me. I succeeded in convincing her, and she agreed. Then I even gave her money and I drove her home. When I got home, I was angry, and I said to myself, these people who gave her this revelation will see tonight what I'm made of. So beloved, I went in my secret room, I concentrated and I took the form of an owl, I took my knife. The knife in question, if you look at it with carnal eyes, you will see that it is really a knife, but it was not a knife, it was a human bone. When you take the human skeleton at the level of the forearm there are two bones, the radius and the ulna. The radius is what I used as a knife. And after having taken this form and my knife, I flown away. I went where these people who gave the revelation of my spiritual state were. Pastor Jonas turns to an owl. I thought I was going to punish them. When I arrived in front of the house, there was an avocado tree. I landed there as an owl. After I projected myself on the avenue on the ground, staring down, and after that, I concentrated and I then became a human again, still staring down. The house was in front of me and I had to stand up straight in order to attack. But what I saw that day, is beyond my understanding. I do not know how to explain it to you. When I stood up to move forward, where there was the house, there was no longer a house. In this place, there was a large river instead. And the house that I had to attack was in the middle of the river, and we could only reach it by swimming. And as I could not swim, I took the animal form again and went home. The next morning around 10 a.m., I went back there to see the river. When I got there, to my great surprise, the house was really there, but there was no river anymore. Beloved, the Lord is the protector par excellence. When I went there to attack them, I didn't see the house, instead of the house it was the river. The Lord Jesus had confused me, he smote me with blindness, I didn't see anything and what is even more complicated is the fact that these people who were in the house did not even know that I was there. It was only after my deliverance, several years later that I went to apologize to those people. The angel of the Lord on guide when you sleep. And when I spoke, they were surprised because they did not even know that something had happened. Beloved, when you are in the Lord Jesus, know that your sleep will be sweet and peaceful, your enemies will be confused. The Lord will smite them with blindness, and they will not see you. The most important thing is to be fully in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll tell you about my journey to the world of Pollyon and my trip to India where I met the Prime Minister of Lucifer. Before that let us read the Bible in 2 Corinthians 10 colon 3 5, for though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. 
Again speaking of Indian magic, I would like to say one thing beloved. You should know that the whole world is under the domination of Lucifer. Lucifer told us when we were still his agents, that there are only Christians who escape from his control and those people represent only 25% of mankind. He also told us that the remaining 75% belong to him and that there is only 25% which belong to the King of the Christians. The devil never mentions the name of Jesus. When he wants to talk about Jesus, he said only, the King of Christians. Because the name of Jesus is a bomb in the world of Lucifer and this is one of the reasons that made me separate myself from him. I thought that the power of Lucifer was the absolute best and it was only when I discovered the power of Jesus' name, that I started to doubt everything Lucifer told me. He also told us that we had to work seriously in churches, and that we should do everything to let Christians sink into a spiritual sleep. And for that he made a seven points plan of action. Fight or deny the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Do everything within our power to strengthen the power of evil. Make every effort to introduce homosexuality in the world on the horizontal and vertical plan. Do everything possible to turn the Bible in the wrong way. Influence the business world. Do everything to stop offering and the daily sacrifice. Make every effort to introduce competition as well as fashion in the church. Lucifer told us, Christians became powerful because of their firm faith in this man, so we must do everything to weaken them, because once their faith is weak, they cannot please their God anymore. According to what is written in Hebrews 11:6, that without faith no one can please the Lord. He gave us His Ten Commandments. The full armor of God in the life of Christian. When we are children of God and are in a good relationship or a perfect communion with God, He gives us His own weapons, the spiritual weapons. With these weapons, we are able to go down even in the world of Satan to overthrow the prisons of Lucifer and retrieve everything that Lucifer has hidden in that world. But to carry out a good spiritual warfare, we must get rid of all carnal weapons. There are people who like to fight witches through insults. It is not because of insults that witches will be afraid of you, it is not for your social status that witches will be afraid of you, witches will be afraid of you only if you get rid of all carnal weapons and take the spiritual weapons, the weapons that the Holy Spirit gives us. There are many people who live in this world whereas their blood had already been drunk. They are still alive, though there is already an allotted time and when the allotted time will expire the physical death will follow. I want you to take this testimony very seriously, because at the end of each year, many Sacrifices are made in the world of darkness. There are people whose blood had already been drunk, and who only live the remaining time left, even. The circumstances of their deaths are already planned. When I was still serving the devil, one day my master, when we were back from Kisangani, told me that I had to do everything to get married. So he sent me to Lakasi in the commune of Panda, there is a river called Panda. I went there, I uttered incantations, and on the river there was a strong light, and from this light, a white woman came out. She joined me at the bank and asked me why I came to wake her up. So I told her, before giving you an answer, first give me your name. She told me her name was Helen. And then I told her that I came to look for her so that she would be my wife. She refused categorically and I started begging her, I told her that I would do everything possible to make her happy. Beloved, must we beg the demons or chase them away in Jesus' name? To be bewitched, is really not good. That day, I started to beg a demon so that she comes into my life. I had begged her and she finally agreed and told me, if you really need me to be your wife, you must come at our place she added, when you come, you will present a token. She gave me a yellow token, and after that we parted. The next day I went to see my master. He told me, before going to that world, 
you should know that women there have a very high degree of seduction. If you go there and succeed in sleeping with one of them, you'll remain there forever. And to prevent you from doing a one-way trip, you have to make a nine-day dry fast. I started to fast, without drinking nor eating, during nine days. And all this time, I was only uttering incantations. I ate nothing and drank nothing. To resist the demons, see what a Satanist is capable of doing. In the meantime, there are Christians who refuse to fast. Beloved there are stubborn demons who do not go out easily. And these demons go out only by prayer and fasting. That is why Jesus said in Matthew 17:21. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. There are Christians who hide themselves to eat when the church decrees a fast. Beloved, when your leaders ask you to fast, you must obey them because to obey is better than sacrifice. When an order is given to you, you must obey. When you hide yourself to disobey, even if the pastor does not see you, God sees you. And if you disobey your leaders, your prayers will be fruitless. Continue in Series 3